and Jake the Snake, like them in the 90s. You made a documentary about them in the 90s, or is it now talking about them in the 90s? No, them, it was made in the 90s, but it's like uh, about their like careers and the past they've taken, like, uh, like uh, right, Jake yeah. the Snake, Jake the Snake is basically like touring around America, just like, just like making money as like this drug addicted hobo who will wrestle. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That's literally what he was. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Uh, while while like uh, well at that point like Terry Funk he's like he's like uh, I'm 50 years old. I'm going to retire, and I'm going to wrestle with Bret Hart. Uh, for my Harry last... Funk. He, he sounds like he might be the father of Toad. Yes, yes, yes he is. Oh. He, he's, 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 also, he's, all, he's, also, he's also like bros with, um, uh, with, uh, t -t 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 with, uh, Mick Foley. Yeah, I know Mick Foley well, because he's like the only one of them that's still like actually does shit. Uh, well, as far as well, I know. Well, Terry Funk is, like, a couple of years older than him. So, yeah. I'm, I'm looking at pictures of him now, god. Wrestlers back then were so skinny. Yeah. So very skinny. And then, and then there's, and then there's, like, the whole thing about, like, Mick Foley, who's, like, as doing shit as Mankind. And there's, like, his big match with The Rock. Mick Foley versus The Rock. When was this like a WrestleMania or something? This was back in the nineties. It was like it was like a cage match, and Mick Foley got like thrown through the top of the cage like twice. Thrown through the top of the cage? What? To the bottom? Yeah. You serious? Yeah. I've always wanted them to do shit like that, but friggin', uh, I assume because it's PG area, we're like, we're not allowed to do that shit. No, this was this was Attitude Era. Oh yeah, yeah, I know that, but that's why I, like. I've always wondered, did they do that shit back now, actually, there, because I've seen they very totally little of the They totally did, but the thing about Foley and uh, uh, Terry Funk, they came from, like, this, like, extreme wrestling, like, uh, like, circuit, where where they had, like, barbed wire matches, plus... Mix Japanese circuit. No, this was American. It was just, huh. it was just, like, too hot for TV. <sighs> the name of the DVD. Oh, well, basically, what happens? Like they, they like straight up like got uh shit thrown. Like they, like there was this one time when like Jerry Funk and like Mick Foley were wrestling, and they're like, "Someone throw us a chair." Oh, I seen that one. <laughs> that one's hilarious. I thought that was TNA or something that happened. No, no, no. It might have. This might be what became TNA later on, but this is like before that. The absolute disrespect for the wrestlers, it probably was the forerunner to... But basically it was like, someone throw us a chair, and everyone's like a fucking psychopath in the crowd. <laughs> so they just bomb the fucking ring with chairs. It's probably like free drink night. <laughs> oh shit, I got a good idea. <laughs> yeah, so they fucking bomb the, the whole uh, ring with the chairs. And then yeah. Mick Foley's like... Uh, uh, Terry Funk, they're like, we might hurt each other when we're professionals, so there's no worry. But this time we were in actual danger. Oh, I remember. I think I see him like pretend he knocked it and roll out of the ring. <coughs> like, God, I wish I was around for the attitude era. Yeah. It might have been dangerous, I though. Oh, it's definitely dangerous. If one of those friggin' chairs hit you in the head, night lights out. But still, yeah. though, it was hilarious. Yeah, but yeah, it's really like, throw shit. It's like wow, but but no, if you like wrestle the Rock, it was like like when Rock was actually like on the rise. This mm -hmm. is this is like when he stopped being like the the like the he's, he was a guy, like you know how the Rock started out. He like he started out with like Rocky something. And he was like a face, and no one liked him. They generally like, yeah. He was like the son of the actual Rocky guy, so like he came in, he was all like, "Yo, I'm gonna live off my dad's fame and my granddad's fame," and everyone's like, "I'm Samoan." But then I think he went the whole mm, these jerry ass kicking Libyan bitches, and then everyone was like, "Yes, attitude era, yes." <laughs> See, you you say that, but that was the proper thing to do. I get that, and I remember Stone Cold became like massive because he showered people in beer and shit. But 
That's because, and I well, wish that shit was still around. Well, you was like basically like, fuck the establishment, fuck you, Vince. Yeah, like that's why I think, you know, Seamus, the friggin' Irish wrestler that's in it now, who, uh, he's the shittest person ever, but I think if he was around in the actual Attitude Era, he would've been good. Because he literally could've just come on, his gimmick could've been like, he drinks a Guinness, he smashes the bottle over someone's head, and he actually just beats the shit out of him with a glass or something. It would've been a great gimmick, but now he's all just like, I'll do some shitty parental guidance level one-liners and hope people laugh. Then who the shit out. You know what they should do? Go for it. They should. Uh, they should bring. They should like bring back Eric Bischoff and give him his own promotion. Oh Jesus, no God! <laughs> he is like the stupidest rider I've ever heard of in my life. Like that storyline where he's like. Yo, let's have a storyline where we admit wrestling's fake, and just hope people forget by the next week. I mean, what an idiot! Um, you know, there's actually, like, people have, like, known that for years before that. Oh, oh, I know people knew, but and it's kind of like... And I'm sure that, like, pretty much all the fans who aren't, like, a couple of years old, they're, they all know... Oh yeah, I, I remember and, when I was like they're... eight, knowing it was all fake. See, but still, see, you don't want that, to come out. So, 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 for me, the thing is different. I never actually watched wrestling as a kid. I know, I only knew who Hulk Hogan was. That is because he was like the most famous guy ever in wrestling. Oh yeah. Like, Hulkamania is gonna wild and wild, brother, on you. Yeah. The, the thing is, like, so, the, then basically, later on, uh, I, 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 so there's, like, my Finnish friends who are, like, you, uh, or, like, people who grew up during the Attitude Era. Yeah. And, and they're, and they basically, like, told me all of these stories about wrestling, and I was like, this sounds fucking amazing. See, I, I remember. The, but the thing is, like, in some sense, I'm actually kind of happy that I, uh, I learned all this shit now because I think I have a somewhat unique experience at seeing what wrestling is. Like, I, like I, fi I find it, uh, because I know it's all fake and I can analyze it from like an adult perspective, that yeah. I just find it like so interesting as a piece of mass media. <laughs> because there's no other thing like it. That is very true. Actually, that's a lot. That's the way a lot of people I've spoken to about wrestling have said they view it. It's like they like looking at it from externally as this weird phenomenon that a lot of people are into. Yeah. That would never ever happen if it became about today. If you know what I mean. Well, the thing is, I watched like about like the origin of wrestling. Uh, like general, like you. Of course, you have like the Greco-Roman wrestling. Uh, which, but, the, but then, the, like, uh, actually, like, the wrestling we know, it actually started out from the circus. Oh, yeah, sure. People are saying Vince McMahon, he's like a, what's wrong, a carny or something. Uh, him? No. But, uh... Are you sure he's not? I'm pretty definite he's a... Vince? One of those redneck carnies. Yeah. Vince himself? No. His grandpa, though. Oh, grandfather was. Oh, yeah. But, but no, it's like, no, he wasn't a carny, it's more like he was like a, a guy who runs the carnies. But the thing, even that, oh, I gotcha. Like, like, the thing about the McMahons, as far as I understand, the McMahons themselves were not actually wrestlers, they were promoters. And Vince yeah. getting in the ring was like the necessity of the, like, the uh, business he's created. It's probably a necessity of people hating him so much. Well, the, the thing is, like, he sort of, like, that's sort of, like, the one little thing I respect him about is the fact, like, they want the ultimate villain, they want the establishment, so I will be the establishment. That's very true, I agree with that. Although, there is one thing, like, I know Triple H is going for that type of thing now, but when people think of Triple H doing it, he's only in it for one reason, and it's the WrestleMania paycheck. So he comes out like, yeah, I'm the big villain, and I'm gonna take my uh, two million I get from WrestleMania and walk away happy. 
Eventually, Vince is gonna retire. And I'm no, probably... Vince has retired. No, he's like from the business entirely. Oh, well, he says he has, but he's obviously still there in the well, background. Yeah, but they heard like, wasn't it like, like a year or two ago where like there was this whole like goodbye Vince thing? Yeah. And then like he just shows up as like Mr. Was... McMahon. It's like... Yeah, he was there at Raw three weeks later. And people were just laughing. <laughs> oh, Vince. Vince plus. You probably just remember, Jesus, I hate my wife. I better go out to wrestling this week. Because she spent like, what, 30 or 40 million trying to get her into, uh, I don't know what they call those spots in uh, the American government. Congress? If... Senate? Senate, yeah. I don't know what you call the actual position. I know what you call them here in Ireland and England, but in America, I don't know what it was. Yeah. I've actually been watching House of Cards. I've yeah. seen the first two episodes of that. Pretty good. I, I saw, like, the, the both seasons. Like, the second one just went up. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, the thing is, like, I sort of know how the American government is constructed, but not really. Like, I'm like... What is the difference between Congress and Senate? I'm pretty sure Congress makes the bills and the Senate passes them. I yeah. think. I don't have a clue. Yeah, but then there's like, and there's like, there's something about Secretary of Defense. Is, is that like Minister of Defense or? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just Minister of Defense, but America's got a bit different from England. And then there's there's like shit about like and there's some like there's something called a whip. A whip. Yeah. I know the Irish whip wrestling move, but I don't know what a whip is and go I, I know what the pistol whip is. <laughs> go to no. No, it's like no. There there's a thing about the whip. It's like something about whipping whoa like bolts for that shit. It's like no. What the fuck is that? Whipping boats. <laughs> boats. Boats. Oh, right. Oh, it... Maybe it's to do with when they change the size of a voting area. Because there's something similar to that in Ireland. Where they, like, change the size of a voting area to get certain amounts of Protestants into power. Oh, no, I don't know. No, no, I assume no. that's not what it is over there. Uh, no, it's like... It's something about, like, the one who, like, gets... Like... Congress votes or some shit, but it's like, I don't understand if whip is like an actual title or is that like some sort of like inside baseball term for it? <laughs> Actually, baseball is a lot of American shit over there. Well, inside baseball literally me is like a term that be, like, people use for like that uh, they're, where they know that if uh, if you don't know what, what the fuck the business we're talking about is, then you might be horribly confused by the, like, the workman, uh, argo that they speak. Yeah, so what, they just use baseball terms? Well, yeah, because, like, you, well, the same thing, like, goes for, like, fighting games, really, like, if you watch, like, a stream, and then you listen to the, uh, commentators without knowing what the terms actually mean, it's like, what? OTG? In fairness, it's pr what, pretty OTG? much the whole time it's like, he's salty, that nigga's salty, Jesus, that kid's salty, look at them salty tears. I think salty is like, what you can like, actually quite easily pick up on. Oh yeah, that's like, the, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh yeah, he's pissed off, salty, ground. The saltiest. <laughs> Piss, salty tears. Yeah, wash that salt oh, down. Who made that a big thing? I don't know, I don't know, but uh, as far as like Marvel, a lot of the like things they say in Marvel are like the result of uh, of uh, things Yipes has said. Like he he's the one who came up with like things like curly mustache and stuff. I've never even heard of this dude. And I used to know all about my Marvel, baby. Uh, the thing about Yipes is like he was like apparently kind of a big deal in like Marvel too, but he hasn't actually been that great now because he got old. But he is like one of the best commentators. Was well, he still commentate for it? Oh yeah. Well, I don't know. all I know from the Mar 
No way, that isn't even a Marvel. The only commentator I remember is that really weird big guy that looked like Lord.